All right, uh, so I have uh, some programs that I've written. Um, I'll go over those uh, later in the video, but let me show you what they do. Uh, this is the very first uh, one that I did. It's very, very simple. Um, what it does is there's a 32-bit a shift register, right? Eight, 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 and eight. And the way that you operate this thing is you shift the data in and then you clock it. So you can shift the data in and nothing happens and you clock it in and then it sets everything. This register talks to the attenuator and each one of these registers talks to each one of these digits, okay? So I'm gonna put it in a, a loop that just counts from zero to 255, all right? I'm going to put on 12 volts. The 12 volts gets converted to 5 volts with this regulator, and then uh, we have it coming out here. So I think you can see that. Um, so uh, let me describe what's 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 going on here. Because um, I'm saying the point with. All right. So the upper segment is the zero bit, one bit, two bit, three bit, four bit, five bit, six bit, seven bit. So. Um, it's going to be counting in binary, okay? So let me start it over. So remember, this is gonna be the, the zeros bit, the ones bit, the twos bit, right? And so watch it count. Oops, you can't see that. I've gotta put, put a shadow on it here. All right, there you go. All right, so it's counting in binary, and it'll count in binary until it gets all the way up and, and, and turns on the decimal point, runs through all the digits again. And um, Okay, so that means that everything is working, and uh, we can come out here with an oscilloscope and see if the different bits are, are toggling, okay? All right, so I'm looking at the output of one of the attenuator lines, and it's popping up and down. It goes up to 12 volts, and then it goes down to zero volts. And it is, it is quite slow. All right, so you can see that that was toggling. Um, let's go ahead and put in the next program that I wrote. Uh, let's see here. And this one just counts. All right, so that makes sure that the, uh, the display is working all right. And so uh, that's working good. And then the next program that I wrote uh, uses the two switches that I have. All right, and so it starts at zero. If I hit the up button, it counts. If I hold down the up button, it just goes. And I hold down the down button, it goes. And when it gets to zero, it stops. And in the up direction, if it gets to 127, it stops. So, uh, so I can read with the buttons, and I can output things. So the next, next, uh, I think the next uh, step now is to wire on the uh, wire on the attenuator and see if I can't get it to uh, count in the correct step sequence to go from zero dB to minus uh, 127. So, yeah, I'll give it a try. Okay, this was the first program that I had that was just counting in binary. So uh, the ATtiny85, I need to assign which pins. So there's data lines, and those have associated pin numbers on the 8-pin package. Anyway, so I have button 1 and 2, data clock, latch. When we do the setup, we're going to set the, uh, the data clock and watch's outputs. Uh, and the buttons are going to be um, inputs, and they are also going to be using the internal pull-up that the ATtiny85 has. So those aren't required on the PC board. You can just use the internal pull-up on the uh, on the part. And then we'll just set the latch value to low. All right, and then here's the last part of the program. It's just a loop counting from 0 to 255. Uh, we're going to set the latch low. We're going to clock things out and then set the latch high. The latch high is going to be where it shifts the data out to the real world. Okay, so we're going to do um, we're going to use the command shift out in uh, Arduino land, and that does an eight bit shift. And we're going to do that four times because we have four registers. And so uh, 
as you shift them, they propagate. So the, the last shift is the first shift. That makes sense. The last output is the first one because it keeps getting pushed along the way. Anyway, so the first shift out you do is going to end up in the ones column. And the next one is going to end up in the tens column and then the hundreds column. And then finally the actual attenuator output register itself. So that's it. That's all this program has. So very, very simple. Okay. So now we're going to be counting. So we need to add a couple things. Uh, our pins stay the same, but we're going to be needing to change a binary value into an actual uh, character font. So when we output zero, we need to only turn on the LEDs around the perimeter. Number one is only just the first second column. Anyway, this is the little matrix that goes from zero to nine, and then it lights up the LEDs and makes them look like zero to nine. So that's what this little thing does here. So when we get down to our final shifting, it's very simple. So the ones column is going to be a uh, number to seven segment I, that's the index. And we're going to be counting in decimal. So we need to do a modulo 10. So this, this right here does a modulo 10. That means it's going to divide by 10. And uh, so it will always just go from zero to nine. The tens column, of course, is going to be the original number divided by 10, modulo 10, and then the original number divided by 100, modulo 10. So uh, that's all you need to do. And poof, it counts from 0 to 9999. All right, so you're all set to go. Okay, and this program is the final program. This actually controls the, uh, controls the register and everything, uh, the attenuator, everything works great. So... Uh, once again, we have uh, the definitions. I'm going to create a variable called attenuator, and that's going to be the value of attenuation. And, and we'll be able to increment it or decrement it, but it starts out at zero uh, dB attenuation. Uh, we're also going to keep the number to seven segment the same. Now, here's the part of the attenuator. Now, the attenuator is an 8-bit register. And this is how it maps. Bit zero is the 64 dB attenuator. Bit one is 16. Anyway, you see that that's how it's lined up here. The only odd thing here is when you actually have 64 dB of attenuation, you need to turn on bit zero and four both at the same time. Okay. So then I'm just going to use another matrix that converts a uh, dB value into which switches do you turn on. All right. So in the comment section here is the amount of dB attenuation. And then this is the bit pattern you would set for the attenuator to give you that. All right. So like uh, 16, if you go here to 16 dB, only one, one of the bits is on and that's the 16. And then if we go to 17, then it's the 16 plus one. Anyway, you get the idea. All right. And uh, this table goes from zero to 60, zero to 63. And then in order to go from 63 up to 127, I'm going to add a statement to do that one. We'll see how that works. All right. So setup's the same. Um, other than I've added this command here called update. All right. So let's go look at update first. So update is going to take the value of attenuation and it's going to shift that out, first of all, to the... Uh, uh, display. So the value that we want to attenuate, let's say it's uh, uh, 74. So then 74 will be shifted out. ATTN will be equal to 74. That will get shifted out to display. We'll get to see it. And then we're going to need to to actually set the attenuation. So first of all, uh, we do a num to attenuation. Remember, those, those are all of the uh, table, that 64 table. We're going to take the attenuation and we're going to modulo it by 64. And uh, then we're going to, if it's bigger than 64, we're going to set two extra bits, which are, is the 64 dB attenuator. So we're going to use that table from 0 to 63. And then if it's 64 or bigger, we're going to set the two bits, which are the 64 dB attenuation, right? 
uh, a 32 and a 32, but they're to be used together. All right. And uh, so that's all there is to do it. And then you shift it, shift it out. And uh, yeah, that's the very last one that you shift out. And there you go. Now the uh, user interface, the up, down uh, buttons is done here in the loop. So the loop's just zipping around, not doing anything unless you actually hit a button. So if you hit a button and you hit button number two, it says, ah, that's the up button. And I'm going to increment the attenuation value. And it will continue to increment unless it goes over the top and it goes, gets bigger than 127. If it gets bigger than 127, you just lock it down. You say, nope, can't be bigger than 127. And then the same for the down, if it's less than zero, nope, set it to zero. So that's that's the loop. It waits for a key. If it gets a key, it either increments it or decrements it. And then it updates things. Uh, it updates the display, updates the attenuator. And uh, yeah, so there's the program. I'll put this on... Uh, on uh, these three programs. So I'll put them on the uh, GitHub site. So if you, maybe you can use it for some other project to get some ideas from it and stuff. But uh, there you go.